in this rom i have like advanced restart button go to direct recovery if you don't have that use this power button and volume up button press them simultaneously you will get into recovery and this is a poco x3 as you can see guys yesterday i already made this rom review the pixel os and the 12 best you can check out here i will be giving you card as you can see this is the recovery i am using the latest twrp recovery for poco x3 go to wipe section and select advanced wipe and select dalvik cache data and swipe to wipe later that select install and select wherever you have stored the files downloaded files select that on flash firmware and they have haven't included anything to flash or not but for safer side flash the latest surya global 12.5.4 firmware after doing that again go into install and select the rom zip file as you can see mio mint 13 surya 16 this is the latest build it takes a little bit of time to flash the rom wait until it get flashed As you can see the ROM has been get flashed. Let her go into wipe and select format data and type YES and press this tick button. Then now go to reboot and press system. This is the flashing method of Mio Mint latest version for POCO X3. And if you're first time to this channel, hit that subscribe button and also allow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon. And if you like the video, give it a like, guys. In this video, I'm going to explain about this Mio Mint version. Flashing guide I already explained and bugs, features, everything going to be explained. Stay tuned till the end of the video such that you will understand everything in this ROM. And this the logo appeared. <laughs>
and into the color scheme as you can see we would saturate and standard and refresh rate also you will get 90 and 120 keep it in 120 this all the settings you will get the performance going to be better in this rom as you can see the scrolling everything is fine and coming to sound and vibration you will get all the basic settings you can adjust the haptic feedback here you can turn on turn off here and into sound effects you get preset here and into the additional settings you get all the basic settings you can enable or disable even profile video for incoming videos you can choose the file and there is a dolby as you can see is pre-installed here as you can see dolby atmos check for update it will work as you can see the old type of dolby digital has been pre-installed if and you can use using magix model installation i already made those videos you can check out here and coming to safety net status in this room as you can see guys it get failed you need to pass the safety net also in this room it's very unfortunate in earlier build it was passed and coming to drm info let's see as you can see level 1 certification this is a good thing you can watch all the OTT application in HD resolution that's not a problem into the Geekbench score this is very good score as you can see single score is 559 and the multi score is 1789 which is very good score and the kernel used here is Linux 4.14.180 perf kernel used for POCO X3 and these are the scores very good score I will be showing you the BGMA gameplay also at the end of the video stay tuned till the end of the video and you will get this kind of ANX camera I mean the MIUI camera you can use Gcam ports also everything is working fine as you can see into the modes you will get all the macro mode wide angle everything is working fine and this is the dynamic shots which is latest one included in 12.5.4 vlog mode dual video clone mode all are given whatever MIUI camera application has that all those features are available in this camera application also this is how the things given here as you can see and let me go into settings and check out fingerprint face unlock screen unlock is given all the three are working fine let me show you here this is the fingerprint scan as you can see very quick now let me show you the face unlock as you can see it's very very fast these things are very quick in this MIUI Mint version earlier also now also it's fine no problem in those things into the security settings and privacy protection you get all this kind of protection you can select here you will get app lock also as you can see as you can see app lock is pre-installed in this room no need to worry and into battery and performance you get this kind of battery and performance here it's fine no not a great performance as of now but it will going to be improved after using certain days the battery life going to be improved and there is no new MIUI 13 type of battery settings here it's just MIUI 12.5 enhanced edition type it's based on MIUI 12.5 only not on MIUI 13 it's beta as you can see MIUI Mint 13 22.1.5 mentioned as 13 but all the features are still MIUI 12.5 only screen time you will get it as a digital well-being you can check out what all the apps use and special features you get all these things floating windows slide bar game turbo this is the game turbo i have installed bgma also let me show you the bgma gameplay without wasting any time let's see the bgma gameplay what i really like in this movement version is the loudspeaker as you can see it's just 60 percent so loud the volume is that's the one thing i really like and here comes the game turbo mode okay this guy came and killed me okay this is how the game turbo mode you'll get all the fps and okay let me kill these guys The performance is really good I want to show the graphic settings but these enemies are
see the performance how it is it's really good in this rom definitely i can tell this is the gaming rom okay and the loudness is very very loud as you can see if i keep full volume it's too much loud and that's how the volume will get and into the graphics settings this is one thing is really wonderful smooth plus 90 fps is enabled in this rom as you can see this is a very good thing let's see until hdr is not available but smooth plus 90 fps is unlocked that's a good thing I will come back here. It was interesting actually. And that's how the performance with smooth plus 90 fps in this Mi Mint version. Camera check, performance check, and uh, let's see the dialer here. One direct video call feature is available in this room, which is not a problem. You can make it out, and even the call recording is also there the other person will never notice that you are recording that's available in this room your dialer proper thing all the features working fine but unfortunately the safety net status get failed here that's the one thing if you guys know do comment down below how to pass that and overall this is a very good gaming rom i can say the performance is top notch and the benchmark results and cpu throttling test what i have seen and the bgmi gameplay whatever you've seen in this video that was excellent in my opinion this is going to be one of the best gaming rom for poco x and uh, the flashing method everything i hope explained and thank you for watching guys this video and we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now